and welcome back to Australian Poker Tour. I'm Gigi Fab and I'm here with the WSOP Player of the Year 2019, Mr. Robert Campbell. I love the prefix. You like it? Yeah. I think that worked out better. <laughs> Mr. Yep, Mr. Yep. Do you think? Yeah, yeah, that's so differentiate you me from my father, doctor, mister. Uh, yeah. There you go. Oh, is your dad a doctor? He is, he is. Oh, and Fine arts. didn't he want po you to follow? Po poetry and, um, and uh, pottery. That's not a real doctor. Oh, that's not <laughs> what we say in the Campbell family. <laughs> it's good enough, you take that. I was just about to say, aren't you going to follow in his footsteps? But if no, he does no, poetry. I didn't have any uh, skills in the pottery game. Yeah. It's fictional, my father's not a potterer. Is that a, what it is? A is potterer. Is he a potterer? I don't, I'm not pottery quite sure. Mark, potterer. Potterer. Pot pottery? I don't know. <laughs> You're asking anyway, someone let's go that. Back to the, uh, <laughs> So, all right, so um, last time I spoke to you, we were at the WSOP circuit event in Sydney at the mm. Star, mm. and now here we are at APT yep. at uh, Eaton's Hill in Brisbane. Welcome, and um, yeah, you're jumping into all of these events, Incredible. I hear. Incredible, yes, that's it. I'm here to play some tournament poker. It's my favourite kind of poker. Love tournaments. Yeah, yeah. you're so full of it. <laughs> You're so but full of it. Yeah, I, I just thought, you know what, this is why we thought, because I'm doing this uh, podcast with Angus O'Loughlin. Uh, now, have... let me just tell everyone about this podcast. Now, this is the Podka podcast. Could you think of anything a little bit harder? Like, it's you a bit of a tongue twister. I didn't come up with the name. It was Angus. He did it. Uh, he thought it was genius, actually. He was like, poker podcast and put, yeah you know, i think he just watched a couple of episodes of thanks. sesame street thanks and, angus uh, jamming words together was his game it's a journalist's nightmare you know that Pod I think he is podca. a journalist Pod podca he's podca a, he's in media he's a professional media person okay so the podca podcast you can download it from where anywhere all over the place so i know you can iTunes, download it itunes spotify, spotify. Places, other places. Yep. Uh, places. Your mum's playlist. Probably not. <laughs> I don't think my mum has the incident. My mum lives in Druin. Uh, <laughs> hello. Hi. Probably, I don't know. I think she does watch all these sorts of things. It's, you know, that seems like something. I think. Do. I think as a mum, you then would. Then she writes stuff like, "Oh, that was funny." <laughs> you know, that sort of stuff. Tells her friends about it. Her friends in one ear, out the other, and they say, "Yes, Miranda, that sounds correct." <laughs> So, uh, but you know, whenever whatever keeps him going, you know. So, this this podca, podca, podcast, podcast, oh, podcast. This is going to be a nightmare to say. Yep. But the, with the flying podcast, on, podcast how's that going? Look, we've had some since I, I think when I spoke to you last. We just had uh, who did we had Jeffrey Lazandro. Uh, we had Jeffrey. Um, had some great guests. Yeah, Tony G. Recently, over the Aussie Moons, we had some really, really kicked it up to the next level. Yeah. We've just had Tony G, who was our biggest well, guest ever. You'd want to be kicking it up at that level fantastic. when you know that they're all here. The G train. We had Jason Gray, uh, one of Australia's highest, uh, most famous high stakes gamblers. Uh, Jan Sachanik, one of New Zealand's most famous high stakes gamblers. And, uh, you know, and a few others. You know, along the traps, we've had like Tino Letich. Manny Stavropoulos. Uh, it's going off. Everybody. I mean, we're getting a lot. It, it's popular. So I'm what excited. are you? What are you? What are you discussing in this um, podcast? Well, I'm sure you've listened to them all, um, but we're talking basically about two topics. Usually, we like to interview the uh, the player, the interviewer, or the person that we're interviewing. Um, ask them some things like, "What's a crazy hand you played?" You know, life career changing moment. Um, these sorts of things. What advice do you have for up and coming players? You know, usually they're saying the basic stuff, so like don't get too crazy, you bankroll, you know, these sorts. Of, and then, of course, we do the hand histories, you know, because yeah. Angus is, he loves poker. Um, sure. And he's trying to make How does he, does he, is he a player? Like, is he? A real, he's a real player. Is he, no, is he a real, like, good player? Like, oh, real good. Real good. Uh, I don't know if to take you seriously or not. I think in the FM studios, he's at least in the top three. Yeah. Um, and, you know, he's in there giving it a red hot crack and he's playing 1-3, no limit hold, and that's his game. And he aspires to get to 2-5. And, 
And look, you, you really can, you know, we go through about three or four um, hands every day, or, no, every show I mean. Um, and you can actually see like he is actually really improving. Mm. Um, and maybe the reason he's improving is because, you know, he's now got someone he's got to tell hands to. But also I like to think, I can actually see he is starting to take some uh, facets of what we've been speaking about and apply to him to his own game, which is, you know, it's always really good to see that because, um, you know, I might not be Australia's best no limit hold and player, um, but, you know, Kyle Burns says I'm five out of 10. <laughs> So <laughs> Thanks, Kale. That's pretty good. <laughs> no, there's nothing like, He's you know, a bit harsh, of Australian that's, camaraderie. That means that's a pass. P equals degree. 50%. Gets his tick of approval. Gets his tick of approval. And he doesn't give many ticks, I'll tell you that. Well, we'll find out if uh, Angus is a is a bit of a player because he's he's also due to come For down sure. this he weekend. Can't wait, he's excited. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we, we're excited to see him and we're also really excited to have you here as Thanks well. So um, I don't know, and this is a lot of APT's first time in meeting you and I'm, I, I'm not sure if they're quite prepared yet, if they're no. quite ready. No, I'm, I'm, I'm media trained, I'm a professional. Well, you should be by now. Aficionado. We, we've well, all I don't the many syllable words because I used to describe myself. With all the WSOP, POY, you know, interviews that you've done, you should you should be well and truly got it down packed. Yes, yes, but now that people start asking me about different things, it's not just about right. you know right. those things. Now I'm a bit more diverse. Now I asked you last time if I could be on your esports team, and you you shot me down. Can't remember. Yeah, you shot me down well, pretty much. I asked. So do you think if I can't be on the esports team, can I at least be on the podcast? No. No. no, I'm never going to get anywhere. We can put you on one, but <laughs> I, you know, what's the point? Just cutting room floor, you know, sort of stuff. <laughs> you know, this guy is a real charmer, I well, tell you a, what. You know, I think we only put, like, Australian Pro Bowl of Fame as minimum. That's no, like that's minimum, team. yeah, no. I, I think I, I, I did win, I mentioned this to you last time, I did win a tournament once at the pub. There so I think that should qualify for something. But well, <laughs> well, then we have a lot of people on the podcast. So tell me about the eSports. Um, what's going on with your team at the moment? Right now, we're actually in Bangkok. Or we're competing in the Parabellum, Dota 2. Uh, Do you want to remind everybody the name of your team? Neon eSports. That's yep. us, Neon eSports. I should have been wearing this shirt, but I bought this new shirt today for this tournament series. So That's a very, very sharp looking shirt. You like it? It's yes. blue, black and white. It's pretty good. I like it. So Easily. you're going back, to, you're telling me about the eSports, yeah. so they're in Bangkok at the moment, is there a big tournament or big series tournament, going on big there? Big tournament, and uh, today we had a bit of a bad day, we lost to Sterling Global Dragons, oh. uh, 2 to 1, That's but we're going to bounce back tomorrow, you know, yeah. it's going to be a breakaway, it's going to be one of those rags to riches, not really, No. Um, we're tournament favourites, so... We're going to show you why we're the favourites. Yes. Are we yeah. going to win one? Well, we're going to win the well, whole We're tournament. rooting for Neon we're Sports. We just made it e or eSports. But boo, boo to the Dragons. Boo to the Dragons. Boo to the Dragons and... Up to the Neon. Up to the Neons. <laughs> up, I was I just about know. to say, That's up the Neons. really good. Up the Neons. Excellent piece. <laughs> All right, so yeah, so look, we're going really good and we really like it. And uh, you know, that's it. And now you're here at APT. Mm. Um, you're going to be playing over the next four days. Yep. And, um, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Still going to play tonight, actually. I was just yes. my friend Dean Francis. He's put the idea of the main event in my head, but I don't know if I'm going to be that yes. for the Players' Championship. Yes, now the Players', Play championship, players championship. The Players' serious Championship is serious business. I mean, it's. Mm. It's not as, um, the prize pool is not as up, up there as some of the high roller events like the grind and uh, the players championships is a 75k guarantee but what's really at stake is it's all about the ring. Is it? Yes, it's, it's very well sought after those that come and play APT. I haven't seen the ring, but everybody I'll be, I'll wants for it. everybody wants the bragging rights mm. to the ring. So that's what you'll be up against. Yeah. It's tough competition. Bit of, uh, bit of a golem situation going yeah. on. Yeah. So I mean, like I, I, I still think they could even put the prize pool down to like 
40k and it'd still be as popular as I've ever. I've heard 14. <laughs> No, 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 no. But yes, well, we do have um, uh, packages that are 14K. Well, there you go. Everyone's got a 14K package around here. I just gave one away before. Well, I didn't give it away. He won it. But yes, he uh, won a trip. He won a cage package, which is valued at 14K. So he's pretty lucky he's going off to Costa Rica. So where are you off to in uh, the near future? I'll probably be definitely going at least as far as Manila to go see the boys yep. after this. Um, might stop through Malaysia, probably have to yep. go to Melbourne. Um, you know, I wouldn't mind going to um, probably go to Los Angeles for the World Series of Poker. So, you know, I'll be around. Yeah, we'll see you at WSOP in Vegas. Yes. Are you going to be there? Yes, well, I shall be. So it's um, pretty exciting. I mean, life must be pretty uh, sort of hectic with you, like a little bit up in the air of, of where you, where to go next, really. Oh, no, I always plan pretty far ahead. I'm pretty on top of these sort of stuff. Yeah. So but how much has life changed for you since winning, winning. WSOP Player of the Year? <laughs> I like saying that. I don't know. I guess... Uh, has it changed much? Not really. Um, it's sort of just sort of gives you that, um, a, you know, that, what do you want to call it? Recognition? Recognition, yeah. I'd say recognition. Yeah. So, um, you mentioned before to me that, you know, you're more of a cash game player mm. um, than a tournament player. Yet, you managed to win WSOP Player of the Year. Well... Yeah. So you must you. I think you. I think you're being very humble. I think. Well, you're I just sort of play poker. Not That's giving I yourself I, I just, enough credit. I guess the, it's a, basically that I just sort of play uh, how I play. And I just won. And you just won it. But I'm quite a serious player. It's not like I'm some. But um, yeah. Look. I, what I, I want to know in the limit tournaments, I don't know if it's that much different in the strategy. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to go too deep into that because most people find it very uninteresting. But um, yeah, I think it's pretty good. What I really want to know is after it all went down and you, you know you won it, did you hear from the other two? Who? Like, this is a bit of an inside scoop, just between me and you. Don't worry about everyone that's watching. Right. <laughs> but like, did did Daniel or Sean? Um, I mean, everyone you? writes, you know, the things on the on Twitter is how poker players. Is, sure, yeah, you know, we all communicate you know, all through the, each other through Twitter. You know, the congratulations and that sort of thing. So yeah, of course. But did anyone like contact you personally and say, you know, yeah, congratulations or? Oh, all the guys. Yeah, no, it's just a sort of a general on Twitter sort of thing. Yeah. Okay. So there's no inside scoop, no no, no dirty gossip. Nothing really. Wow. Yeah, you're, you're just full of full of inside scoops, aren't you? <laughs> that's just, you know, that's just how it is, though. You know, it's the real life. So real now, life. what is next for you now? Like, you well, pretty this, much. I'm all about this tournament series. I'm going to try and win the Ooh. title, win the league, get the. Did you bring your bracelets? Ring? No, no, I didn't. Just trying to get it going. Just see what I can get going in Queensland. I never won. A poker tournament in Queensland before. Well, do you know it's something that you, um, what is really good about APT is you can, all our, all our games go towards GPI points. So you can accumulate um, GPI points right. um, by playing in all of our events. Bet you didn't know that. Didn't. There so you uh, if, you, if you're lucky enough to take down WSOP Player of the Year two years in a row, right, yeah. if you don't, you could always take down what Cale Burns just recently took down, which is the GPI Player of the Year for Australia. I don't so you play I, all of our events and yeah. you get all these points. Yeah, it's impossible for me to win, GG. No, it's not. I have faith in you. No, no, it's just straight up can't win it. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Because it's pure volume. Kale's, yeah. Kale and Adamo spam 100k events. Yeah. And I'm going to play none of them. Yeah. That, that is... 
possible. That is possible. I mean, we you're basically wishing those guys to just brick the entire year yeah. and blow themselves up so I can... Yeah. <laughs> no, I, don't, well, I don't want them to blow up. ...events in Queensland no. and take that Australian GPI. So our two finest No Limit Hold'em high rollers guys just blow their bank yeah. rolls apart and then I scoot into the GPI no. like some sort of lucky peasant and... Uh, it's not very nice. We do have the GPI Female Player of the Year here we as do. well, Connie Graham. She's here. Yes. She's at the event. She's currently playing in the Players' Champs. As she should. Yes. So yeah. she's also vying for that ring. Shona, it's not a boy's place. This is equal gender. I kind of miss having your bracelets do you? On, on my wrist. That was, yes, the best morning of well, my life. You know, that's why you should, uh, you should contact Billy the Croc. He knows where to buy bracelets in Vegas. Really? Yeah, he, he's bought one before. Yeah, but no, I don't. I don't want a bought one. I I want one that somebody's won. Well, that's like good. I want yours. Well, you could oh, buy one. Of next mine. time, next time, just leave it with me for longer. All right. <laughs> and then you'll never get them back. Right. Once they once they hit the wrist, that's it. I, I was, it was a like a slap band. Yeah, it was very um, difficult to give them back. They're was they're it? pretty. Yeah. Well, not every day you walk around. You know. A casino with just two WSOP bracelets. I mean, for you, that is every day, but you know. Mm. Oh, you know, Jeff Lazander's got quite a few bracelets. Borrow one of his. Yeah, all right. There you go. Might, we might have to send him I a think bit Mel of a Judah's message. Mel Judah's got one. Mel Judah's got a few, yeah, actually. Get one, so, get an old yeah, one. I think I might have to shoot some of these yeah. boys a messages to see go. if somebody's going to lend here? me one. Uh, I don't think he's at this one, uh, this event. The next one. The next one, yeah, maybe. Yeah. But uh, I know that uh, he's uh, uh, he might be a bit preoccupied with his. He's got a, uh, a series as well. I think it's in the next few weeks. There you go. Look forward to that, then, kids. So yeah, there's so much happening. I mean, there's a lot of things happening in Australian poker altogether. I mean, we just had. Aussie Millions, Aussie uh, you, we've had the WSOP circuit. Uh, WSOP circuit. Now we've got Australian Poker Tour, which this happens every I two mean, months. Most so the events are absolutely on par with each other, I'd say. Yeah, right. right. Mm. Are you being sarcastic again? <laughs> Such a freak. What about Australian Poker Open? <laughs> this is Australian Poker Open. Yeah, but we're not going to say that. Rug, we're not going to. <laughs> The We're not going to mention irrelevant. that. Irrelevant. <laughs> uh, did you notice that I did not mention that on did purpose? Oh, no. Really? Yes. No. Thought, we can't mention that. <laughs> say stuff like, "This is the event all Australians have been waiting." Yeah, well, it is. It is. Yeah, well, well, okay. It is the event. Get ready. <laughs> Fifteen hundred main event. Forty-seven thousand dollars for first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Would you listen kids. to me? Can I tell yeah, you something? You it is, it is not for <laughs> Listen, um, it is the event that everyone's waiting for because I tell you why, mm. it is quite, there's a lot of value. Yes. And the range is available to everyone to play. So if you were to go to a Australian Open, which would be also another awesome event, however, you'd need at least a minimum, you know, 50K bankroll to 50K. play in those events, yeah. Oof. That's Oof. Can I have a loan? Who from? <laughs> from you. Oh, no. But I know some Russians. <laughs> I don't want Russian money. Oh. I'm scared. Vegas can't be choosers. I'm scared. No. All right. All right. Anyway. So. Anyway. So going back to that. All right. Well, best of luck. Well, no doubt we will be back in touch with you um, throughout the event. Yes. Um, I, I'd love to uh, chat with you and Angus when Angus gets here as he well. He love it. He's, he's a chatter. Angus likes chatting. I, I'm, I'm a bit starstruck by him. Really? Yeah. I didn't realise he was that famous. The host of the Arias. That's yeah. I did, had no important. idea. So I'm sitting there chatting away to him. Mm, and like he's a regular person. Like he's a regular person. No. And then I go look up his uh, Twitter right. and I find out that he's famous. Very hard hanging around with Angus on And the so streets. now I'm like, I Often don't... Often there's like a circle of people around him. I'm starstruck. Yeah. I can't wait. He has to get in and out of his tinted vehicle. Like, you know, he's just surpassed you. He has. So he's, I'm no well, longer... He never star surpassed me. I was never above him. I'm no longer starstruck with you. just this little person <laughs> riding his coattails. I mean... When we were walking, I think we were walking, where were we leaving? We were leaving Crown Casino on the way to Fox FM the other day and it had just been spitting with rain 
And you know how I have that leather jacket? I bought myself yeah. a nice leather jacket. There was a puddle. Yeah. And Angus had bought some new white shoes, so I quickly oh, took my jacket no, and put it over the puddle. Oh, no, you did not. So he could walk over. <laughs> you know, because you got to look after these A-listers. <laughs> well, like, it, it took me by surprise, because I, I just thought, like, he's yeah. just a regular poker player that, yeah. Uh, yeah. that you know, poker players, I don't really get starstruck by them, but... Yeah. This guy here now. No, he after really I found out, guys, Angus is pretty much just straight up a regular guy. <laughs> he really does love poker. Um, he really, really likes poker a lot, and that's why he's part of this podcast. Yeah. And that's what we're trying to do. We're just trying to be like make a really good podcast for the Australian people. And he's fantastic at that. He does all the editing. Um, he's nice and he, he organises the studio. Like without him, there's no way that show would ever exist. Yeah. And even if I did it on my own somehow. It would be so much worse without him. Yeah. Like, you know, all jokes aside, really, he's instrumental and he genuinely loves the Australian poker community and I, I, I bet he can't wait to be here. Yeah, well, we're looking forward to having him. We're also extremely grateful that uh, Angus is coming down and uh, to yourself. Thank you so no much. No problem, Sidney. Um, Lovely to be here. Thank you so See much you for time. blessing us uh, with oh, your presence. Thank you, very kind. With the, the WSOP oh, Player of the Year, Mr. Robert Campbell. Peace. And we will catch you guys later. Bye. Uh,